Hey guys, it's Kay Jones here and I'm coming at you with another video. This video is going to be on why the farming guild is great for Iron Man. So if you're a low level Iron Man or even a high level Iron Man, I highly suggest that you check this out. Um, a lot of the new content and new seeds have been really great as well. So let's get to it. First, I'm going to be talking about how to get there. So I have a map right here and I show that you can run from the center of, Gr of Corrind all the way through the Shazian house, through the swamps, to the farming guild, um, and I have that marked with the arrow. So that's where the farming guild is. You can also take a fairy ring teleport, which I have circled, and you can run um, southwest, or you can use a skilling necklace, and the skilling necklace will take you straight to the farming guild. So that's the great thing. If you buy a skilling necklace that's charged, just go ahead and use the farming guild teleport and that's the quickest way to get here. So we're gonna be talking why the farming guild is great for Iron Man. The first thing is contracts. If you go to the guild master Jane and you click a contract, um, I already have one currently, but they will, she will sign a farming contract to you. Mine's to grow a curry tree. Once you complete the contract, you will get like a little sack or note of seeds. These seeds are usually really good. They include tree seeds, herb, or herb seeds, and etc. And usually you can get a lot of XP from the rewards. And another great thing is snake grass seeds. Snake grass is highly needed on Iron Man to make prayer potions and etc. And you get a lot from planting them in the vegetable patches. So let's go into the first. It, the farming guild is divided into sections. You need 60% Hosidius favor to access any of the sections. If you come over here in this section, you have to be 45 farming to pass. It's got uh, these vegetable patches, also no known as ointment. I cannot pronounce that. We've got a bush patch, a flower patch, and a cactus patch, which you can do potato cactus or just a regular cacti. The great thing about this is that once the potato cactus is fully grown or your cactus, every 20 minutes it replenishes the flowers or the cactus spines or potato cactus. Potato cactus is crucial for secondaries for herb lore. I got about 700k XP just from using lantodimes and potato cactus making magic potions. So they're great secondaries. If you come every 20 minutes, you can pick them up. Here we've got, I have limp roots planted. You can plant whatever you want. The white, new white lily seed will protect anything in this room from disease or any vegetables, I believe. Over here, I have poison ivies on this bush. However, I highly suggest white berries. Um, I have poison ivies because they can make super compost and because they protect my cow quat bush or plant, whatever. But white berries are great secondaries and those I think are done every 50 minutes or so. So let's go into the next part of the farming guild. Okay, so in this room, I think it requires 65 farming. You got yourself a new tree patch, a new herb patch, which mine's ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, harvest it. And you've also got this enema uh, new patch and it contains three, you can plant three new seeds here, a Kronos seed, an Addis seed, and an Iazor seed. These are very new to me and I'm very unfamiliar with them. However, I know that um, the eye, eye azure uh, seed, when you plant it, it looks like this and it lasts, all of these plants last for three days. The eyes azure, I cannot pronounce this for the life of me, but it increases your, um, increases, it decreases the rate that your plants will become diseased. So that's extremely helpful. The Addis plant will increase your yield and the Kronos plant will, um, what will it do? You can check it out by, you can click the, um, go ahead and click your farming log. And if you go to special, the, do, 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 do. the Kronos will increase the speed of growth. So it will skip a phase whenever you're farming. So that's really nice. Also in this room, you have the new Hespori boss. You will get a Hespori seed, and this is where you plant it down here. Mine is fully grown, and I will tell you and show you how to kill this boss. It takes about 36 hours, I believe, for the Hespori um, to grow completely. You get tw about 12k XP, and you get some really great seeds. You can get the Kronos seed, the Addis seed, and the Isazor seed, which are really great from this boss. And, uh, you just plant the seed. You don't have to worry about any compost or anything like that. 
Now let's go to the next room. I believe that this is going to require 85. I'm not very sure if that was 85 farming or this, I just don't know the tiers, but I know that you're only able to access certain sections. So this is a spirit tree patch, which is really nice. You can basically travel to the farming guild through spirit tree as an option. You can also do the new Celestria seed. The Celestria seed, um, I can show you basically you can, um, it's 14k XP, and if you chop it down, you get battle stabs, which is great. You also get a new fruit tree. There's also a bank here. And finally, there is a redwood patch, which is awesome. I've never had a redwood tree, but I'm pretty sure it takes forever to grow and gives you a lot of XP. I'm going to tell you right now that this guild is phenomenal for Ironmen. Not just for Ironmen, but also regular players. You can make bank, but the secondaries are crucial here. You unlock another herb patch, you unlock tree patches, fruit patches, spirit trees. I mean, it's great. You can get battle salves, etc. It's a huge part to an Ironman. I already have gotten a ton of herb XP just from doing this. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, Give it a like and feel free to subscribe to watch my future videos. Say hello, Kiara. Bye, guys.